Morning this is a tutorial about making a timer. Like this. Hey, so this little timer there, you can adjust the time in the title as much as you want manually, or I'll show you how to do it from a chat command. You could do it from the stream deck. You could do it from a keyboard shortcut, or you could say, start a two minutes timer. All right, starting a eight minutes timer, my love. Well, my robot is not always super smart, but you understand the concept. Let's get started. First thing first, you'll need a program called Mix It Up. Mix It Up allows me to dress up this baby Yoda or like maybe make him naked because like, you know, let's be serious here. Also, let's me do that. I like it. It's called Mix It Up. So go ahead and download it and give it a try. You go onto mixitupapp.com, press enter. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Download Installer. Once you've uh, run the installer and installed it, you should have the bot install with your streamer account. And if you have a bot account, I suggest connecting that as well so that you can talk to a bot and your audience can talk and be answered from a bot account. Otherwise, you can just run it with one account. I don't judge. It's completely fine. The second place you're going to have to stop on the internet is onto my download link in the description, or you can type download.pixelbeard.tv, which will bring you to my Dropbox because I don't have file hosting. This stuff's expensive. And go ahead and download the file called countdown.zip. Once you've downloaded, go to your download folder. You will go and run the extract all in the same location. This will create a folder called countdown. I suggest moving this to its final location, whether it's on your C drive in a convenient folder where you hold all your OBS asset and be a really good person that, you know, takes care that all this stuff is together. Well then get your shit together. Get it all together and put it in a backpack. All your shit. So it's together. Or straight on the desktop if you're a complete madman. I'll just leave it there for the tutorial. So in there we have multiple files. First, we have the countdown itself. If you open it, you'll see it's a countdown, but there's no time or any title, so it looks kind of weird. You can also right click on it and edit it, change the HTML, change the color, change all sorts of things. It's up to you. Then we'll have two mix up command folder. Those things will import later in the tutorial. You'll get a Open timer to that wave. I don't own that file. I don't know where it came from. I slightly modified it to be exactly two seconds. So you can hear the tick, 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 ding at the end. And then one text file that has the word off written in it. Are you still following? Are you sure? Good. Let's go into Mix It Up. Mix It Up is a, you know, fairly straightforward uh, app. Let me hide this timer. We don't need it anymore. There you go. It's a chat, but it listens to Twitch. So if somebody writes something on Twitch, hello, YouTube, it will pop up in this thing. And if somebody, I don't know, goes and type exclamation point hat, then it's going to add a hat to my little baby Yoda. Froggy! <laughs> That's one of our favorite. Okay, sorry. I'm excited for nothing. The way it does this is via commands. So if you open the menu there, you'll see a tab that is called command. In there, you'll have a bunch of pre-made command, which I suggest maybe turning most of them off until you know what they do and you know decide if you want them or need them. And the second thing is custom command. That's where we can create very, very, very simple or very, very, very complicated command. This one, for example, downloads a file from my Discord and then does all sorts of things and runs external program and, you know, it's crazy. Then some other one or just, you know, message. Like, hey, come and join my Discord. Inside those commands, there's a bunch of actions. Sometimes it gets a bit crazy. And sometimes that craziness, you know, you're building it and you're like, wait, I want to use it in another command, in another command, in another way. So instead of recreating all those puzzle pieces, you know, every single time, we go in what is called an action group. And we just create basic, it's basically just like a command, but the only way to run it is from another command or another action group. Ooh, action group inception. 
so those are going to be the two places where we'll be creating things i'll explain a bit more how it works along the way the next step is important we will be controlling obs yes obs so to make sure you are able to control obs you will go all the way down here to services services is a cool spot you can you know make overlay into obs that you send things to from the software so a little bit like Streamlabs and stream element do but all locally on your computer and you control everything it's kind of neat you can control obs studio you can even control Streamlabs obs so yes this will work in Streamlabs obs yeah yeah go slobs for once and then you can get alerts from Streamlabs, stream elements you can have your stream jar connected to that patreon stream roots extra life you can have stream deck integration you can turn your light on and off um you can do all sorts of things but so today the one we need is whether you're working with obs or streamlabs obs you need to go in there you need to make sure that it's connected to connect it you will have to close obs make sure your obs is closed install websocket and then inside obs by default it should be the default port which that's what it says right now on your screen 127 that's something 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 2.4444 and no password if you change that for some reason you know what you're doing so come on just do your thing you understand change that and click connect once it's connected we're going to test that it's connected su successfully this is a good thing now that we know that obs is connected we will preset a couple things into obs to make our life easier later so let's close this down and let me open a brand new vanilla copy of obs so let's say this is the scene where you want your timer drop a new browser source wherever you feel like dropping it so by clicking on browser let's call that timer one demo i put the demo so it's not confusing to my software we click on ok we're gonna make the width 1920 or whichever width is your canvas because you know if we put a really long name we want to have it you know we want it to have a lot of room to grow and for the height specifically you will set it to 340 now if you change my code later and make it bigger or smaller you'll set that appropriately but right now 340 is going to make it nice and center other properties we need to change make sure that we shut down the source when not visible so if you cancel a timer by hiding it you won't hear the sound in the background it will just close the browser source and then we need to click on refresh browser source when scene become active so this way if you close your timer and reopen it it's going to restart at zero everyone got that cool now we're going to click on ok and this is going to look like that don't worry too much about it we're going to have mix it up do the rest of the magic so let's minimize this go back into mix it up and i could teach you how to do all those things but instead i've conveniently provided you two files to just import into mix it up so let's go ahead and do that let's go into action group first create a new action group we'll be calling it set timer demo 2 because i've done this before and i didn't like the video so i'm re-recording it we're gonna put this into a command group called timer this is just like a folder you don't need to make it into a command group but it keeps things nice and tidy once you start having you know 8 million of them like me and this you will make it run unlocked now in the future when you make things by default leave them locked once you've done those two things you will click on import action from file and right here you see that into countdown we have a demo timer and a set timer one demo so let's click on set timer one demo import that and it's going to import all this let's make sure that everything is written properly first the file see my path is not going to be the same as yours so let's click on browse and click on this file that is called timer one status and click save if it tells you that it's going to write it don't worry about it just click yes then in streamlabs what is the name of your scene and what is the name of your timer or if you're in obs like me what is the name of your scene what is the name of your timer my scene is called scene and my timer is called timer one demo the capitalization is important so we will make sure that it reflects it perfectly now we're going to wait 1.5 seconds and then we're going to go obs studio 
or Streamlabs, if you're using Streamlabs, Web Browser Source, Scene, Timer 1, Demo. And then we're going to go here. And we're going to replace the path with the actual path. The way to do this easily, open your folder where this countdown.html is and click on the click on the tile bar this will reveal the path in your computer Control a to select all right click copy come back to mix it up and select all of this right before the slash countdown.html and Control v this will replace the path with your path and make sure that it works now at the very end File, read and write. We're going to browse again. We're going to reselect this file. It's going to tell you, do you want to overwrite it? You're going to click yes. And you are good to go. Now, if we go into the group timer, which may be the only one you have, you will see set timer demo two. Step three, let's go into our commands. Let's make a new command. It's going to be set timer one because that's the first timer the only one you have so far and i'm gonna call that demo with bunch of o's and the chat trigger for me sophie because you can make it whatever you want if you set it to sophie like i just did if you do exclamation point sophie it's gonna set a trigger i mean if you leave it at that and i show up in your chat one day i'm gonna find this hilarious Obviously, you would set that to set timer. I already have a bunch of set timer comments. I don't. I can't have two comments with the same name. It just, just doesn't work. Now, the command group, we should probably also put it into the timer command group. Usage requirement. You can make it whatever you want. Who can trigger the command? Make it just for you for now. Streamer. So nobody in chat starts spamming this command over and over and over again, trolling you. We're going to make it so it cannot get triggered twice, but you still don't want people to spam it. Or maybe you're in your mod, you know, you're, you're having the bright idea at the same time. So set it to a cool 10 seconds. Then the currency requirement, if you've made a currency like mine is bananas, give all followers some bananas. I believe they deserve 30 bananas. Do you agree, baby Yoda? So let's say now you have 30 bananas, you can make it cost 30 bananas. But, you know, it's a mod or a streamer command. Don't put any currency. Now we are ready to import our command. So again, click on import action from file. And this time, click on demo. This is a bigger command. And I'll explain to you what everything does in a second. Read file. So each time that somebody is going to trigger, right, the timer, it's going to set the timer to on the text file that we created is going to write on in it now by doing that it's going to let us know that it's already running so at the beginning of the command we need to check was it running or not when we trigger this command so let's go find your timer one status once more and you have it set at to a special identifier that is status one now this status one special identifier is only accessible here in this command and that's going to be an issue for us so we need to transform it into a global usable special identifier we're going to call this globally usable special identifier ts1 and we're just going to store the same text that we just had we're going to pass it on to the next one and it's now global three scenario that can happen the user has provided a time because what happens if somebody just does exclamation point sophie it just starts a random timer we can't have that so we need to make sure that they provided a time so if the user provided a time it's going to run this set of action if the user did not provide a time it's going to tell the user hey you didn't provide a time and if the timer is already running it's just going to tell the user hey the timer is already running if everything makes sense we need to confirm that everything is good to go so we've changed the file now you see every time that it says run command action group this needs to be the same name of the action group we created earlier remember when we went into action group i call mine set timer demo 2 Ooh, that means this is broken so let's change this to set timer demo 2 I need to find that. Okay, we found it. Now again, set timer demo two. 
And if you've named it set timer, you're gonna need to replace that to set timer. If you named it like, you know, pixel beard amazing tutorial, then you're gonna need to name it to, you are absolutely right, pixel beard is amazing. And now that we've confirmed that those two actions have been complete, we can save this action. And technically, if everything went right, you go into chat and you type exclamation point Sophie 500 hello it's gonna hey, say listen. hey pixel has set a 500 si timer named hello and it's gonna show that timer on your stream sadly my OBS is not connected to this OBS. So I'm going to now show you how to do it manually in case you don't want to have to deal with mix it up. This link here should get replaced by the information here. So if we take this, we control C, we take that, we control V, we can see that it's telling this URL to go open this file. And at the end of the file, it says, oh, there's an amount of sec seconds and an amount of title that wasn't provided by Mixup. So let's make it 500 and let's call it cool down. And as you can see, it updated this timer to 500 seconds and cool down. Now at the end of the timer at two seconds is going to run the audio file and you're going to hear the audio file in your stream and that's it you now have a timer oh what uh, i was just watching this counter counting down and i was wondering wait wait a second why is it not animating when it it appears like pixel like pixels one looks so much better because it goes like this this one doesn't well, if you look at the top left corner, I am running version of OBS 27.0.0 release candidate 2. By the time you see this in the future, not like today because I'm uploading it today, but like maybe tomorrow, maybe in five days, maybe in a week, it should get released to everyone. What this version of OBS lets you do is so much stuff. I can't really go over all of this, but it's adding show transition, high transition. So if you are running OBS 27 because it's been released, or if you're a geeky geek like me and you're running it already, just set this to slide and we're going to slide it to the right and then we're going to set the high transition to slide and left and now it's going to slide in and it's going to slide out and if you think it goes too fast you can set this to a thousand milliseconds boop, boop, boop. you can also set this one to one thousand milliseconds boop, boop, boop. and now when you trigger it it's gonna be a lot smoother ha huh. There's so much more you can do with this update, so definitely check it out when it comes out. Thank you very much to the team behind the OBS project. How was that? Was it good enough? Was it detailed enough? Was it too fast? Was it too slow? Let me know in the comment in this description. Uh, you know, follow, like, and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch. That's what I really want you to do. Come and check me out on Twitch. That would help me out greatly. Otherwise, see you in the next video. And remember, have fun streaming because streaming is awesome.